Oh, hey there. Where, where's the camera? Over here. How's everybody doing? Uh, pardon the mess. <laughs> Tis the season with, uh, uh, with print sales and getting books out. This place looks like a tornado hit. Bad timing. Uh, looks like a, it got turned upside down around here. Um, gosh, thanks for stopping by. Um, to all you affected by the tornadoes, my heart is with you. Uh, living in Ohio, I got to see quite a few of those myself and um, they can be pretty scary and sorry. Sorry it happened to everybody. But I am here to talk about my books and today I want to go through um, putting on a book cover. So we had the... The standard books like this that are hard bound, um, had them custom made in Canada. And then the upgraded version was the, um, the limited edition that had this really cool slip case that I made. Uh, so this is, I don't know what you can see, it's kind of got this really cool pebble texture uh, I rigged up a sprayer. I printed all these, hand folded, bone folded, scored, glued, and sprayed all these to make these and signed. Da -da -da. Thank you, one person that's watching. Um, and then, so now we go up to the um, special edition books, which are also very handmade. And so, while I was making the books in, um, in Canada, I had them create what's called a, a book block, which is this guy here. So it's basically, it's the same book, but I had them make it without the covers because I wanted to do something handmade. For this so I went and I got this special paper it's made in Nepal uh, this is all a handmade you can see the texture there the handmade paper um, called Loka Lokka and it's made from the Lokka bush in Nepal all handmade just really beautiful quality and texture. Then I run that through the printer and I run it through the printer. Um, I designed it, ran it through the printer, printed on it. Then I coated it with this special, um, like, um, it's kind of a mixture of latex and ochre and uh, a medium and it gives this really hide-like texture. It's like a, it's a very pliable, but yet tough. The paper's tough anyway. It's like, it's, it's super tough. It's not like a, a regular paper. It's made out of a bush. And then after I did the coating, I put, um, that's why the, <laughs> the crazy. Yeah, so in Native American culture, when a warrior goes out and comes back with a successful mission um, that was part of the hand on the horse, uh, the handprint on the horse. So this book is of solitude. It, um, it was a, a very successful mission because I'm back from it. I'm here. Um, and I feel, feel like a warrior because of that. It's, uh, it's been, it's a, it's, it's challenging one's spirit. So, this is basically what we get. So this will be the new cover for Of Solitude. So even when I was um, coating this, so I took it straight out of the printer, so the print was still semi-wet, uh, and then when I coated it, I made sure my brush strokes went down. So I get this really, I wanted this very dis distressed, uh, old patina. I almost wanted this as if, you know, the rain had been on this for 
months and months and months and years or whatever. And it's just like dripping the, the paint down. So that's kind of the idea. So that's that. And so now we're going to fit it to the book, which is always the scary part. <clears throat> and I'll just let you know, I did this already um, many times. And I had them all in my little press that presses them for a little too long, evidently, because all the books were done <laughs> uh, three days ago. And I had to start from scratch on every single one of these 25 uh, special edition books. Because while they were in the press, They all stuck together. <laughs> so the glue I use is called PVA and it's pressure sensitive, which is why you put it in there. But I did not know the concoction I made to put over top of the books, the coating is also a PVA. So when it gets pressure, it goes sticky and it's not good, not good at all. Uh, let's see, anybody I need to say hi to here? Hey Mark, hey Sierra, thank you for watching. Appreciate you both. Um, so now let's fit this thing to, so now I'm putting them in the press with wax paper in between and it seems to be working quite well. MJ Love, hey buddy, hey buddy back. Hey buddy back. All right, so we're gonna fit this dude on here. Woo, here we go. So I'm gonna line it up and there's no real, this paper is not true. Uh, even while running it through the printer, I had to hand deckle uh, a lot of the edges because the paper, it's so handmade, it's not square at all. So I have to literally use a square, mark it, and hand score it to a square dimension, or it won't run through the printer because it says, paper's crooked, paper's crooked, paper's crooked, and it drives you crazy and you pull your hair out. Oh, Sierra, I uh, love you, Parker. The cover looks dopey. I love you too, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, all right, so we're gonna line this thing up to the best of my ability. It's meant to be kind of rough. I don't want it to be highly refined. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then I grab it gently and hold it in place with my thumb, flip it, and here's where we make sure. So this is going to be the, the flap that closes the book on the front. And I'll show you a finished book after we're done here. But I just want to make sure that lines up, and it does. Perfect on the first try. Take my pencil. This is a little trick I figured out. Instead of doing this on the fly, I mark the edges, right? So now we are almost ready for the glue. So this is the flap down here where that mark is, right? That's what flapped over the front. We don't want to put glue on there or else the book is permanently uh, glued shut. So we don't want that. So I'm putting this little piece of uh, cardboard over the edge here and that's going to protect it from the glue. So here we go. So I'm, get, I'm getting some glue. That's what I'm doing. With my back to you. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. So we're going to roll this out. My friend Mary Carol, she uh, coached me in this a little bit because it's been quite a few years since I did some bookbinding, so I need a little refresher course. And uh, she says to only go in one direction that way. I don't know why, but I figured it out. Um, because it pushes all the glue down there and you can use it again. So here's what I've been doing. Holding this down, running a really deep, real, t lots of pressure there in the middle. And the idea is you want to get this stuff on fast and get the book in its cradle. And you only get one shot at this, especially with this paper. The back side of it is not coated, so it really takes this glue well, which means it'll stick real fast. So now that that's in there, I get my book block, double check, make sure it's right side up, 
and then I line those lines up that I have made to here to there and then this gets put down well that got a little crooked uh oh I hope I didn't push too hard for the careful to screw up on live TV there we go Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, boy, that's a close one there. That is a close one. All right, now we're going to bring this over. And I'm putting lots of pressure on this and really keeping it tight because I want that edge to be down. And we start, we spread it out, going towards, away from this line. There we go. And then we use a little bone folder. And then this puts the pressure over the book. I'll do the edges really well because you really want those to go down since the design of this book. And now we're gonna do the spine. And all this has to be done fairly quickly. So it's a, it's a big race, and I usually get uh, with lots of pressure. All right. Whew. Now, the book closes like this. Then this side is going to be hand sewn, and then these straps go across with buffalo bone, and yeah... Jose, don't glue your beard to it. Already done that, so there's a couple books that have a little bonus surprise on the inside. No. So, that's that's one like that. Now, um, I'll go put this in the press. Bear with me for one minute. I'll be back. I can't show you this part. I mean, I could, but I'd have to move the camera around and then you just see my ass because I've just been over putting lots of weights on a book. So it's nothing to see here folks. Nothing to see here. And then go. Whoo! Okay. So that's how we make those. But now here's a finished book. This is this is actually an upgrade to the special edition. Um, Robin Thompson, I love that. Thank you, Robin. Me too. Um, this is the upgrade to the special edition, which is called the artist edition. So it's basically the same kind of thing, only this one is, this is Longhorn uh, Hide that's put on here. And it's the same process throughout. And it's a, um, uh, feels so good. So this thing just kind of comes off here like this. So this is uh, called Sinu, or Sino, Sino, Sinu. Um, it's basically uh, animal tendon, buffalo tendon in this case. And this is what the Native Americans used to put like arrowheads on their spears and points and uh, to make hatchets and uh, lashings for shelter and so that gets pulled off this is a hand carved buffalo bone here that I had made for this project and then this opens up and you can see the hand stitching well maybe not you can see the hand stitch here which is hidden from the outside oops 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 and then she opens up into the book and that's, this is my baby. This is, there's only five of these uh, in existence. And um, I think there's, there's two more available, if anybody's interested. Or they already got the book and they want to upgrade to this. Definitely let me know. Um, but let me know quickly, because these are getting made, yo. All right. That's the book show for the day. Oh wait, I've got somebody else. Cliffy boy, my buddy. Oh, he makes me smile. 
Uh, I just got my special edition today, my brother. I absolutely love it. It's truly incredible, and it truly inspires me. Oh, thank you, buddy. Hey, I appreciate you. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to end up with 10 bucks. Well, bring it on. Bring it on. Uh, while I'm in the process of making, yeah, um, that'd be awesome. And thank you. That means a lot. So, yeah, that is kind of the, the book show for the day. I'm going to get on making some more. Um, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you. And um, you can look in the past post. Like, if you don't know anything about this book and you want one, you can look in past posts just a couple back. It's not that far of digging. Um, and find a link to the books. Um, I don't know, maybe five posts back. Something like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I got. Thank you so very much for everybody that um, stopped in and said hi and supported this project. Couldn't have done it without you. Literally could not have done it without you. David, uh, love the creativity. I can't read except my through my bifocal. So love the creativity. Well, thank you, my friend. You You own it too. Get on it. Do it. All of it. Uh, Jim says, nice work, Parker. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate you. Oh, now everybody gets on. Here we go. Um, so yeah, so I, I played around with a couple different, uh, coatings for this one that has just a little bit more of a, of a sheen to it. And then some that are like hide. So they're going to be distributed in amongst all of them. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Fun process. Even funner putting the book together, making the images. I mean, this is like, this is like uh, 10 years in the process, this book. And now, like these things going out, I've shipped out 200 books over the last two weeks. And I'm just overwhelmed with joy. I'm humbled. Um, it's a lot of my personal stuff going out in these books. It's not just pictures, their photographs, and then my writing next to each one of the photographs in a form of a story or a poem. And a lot of it is very personal. It's just kind of um, a peek inside this crazy brain of mine and this wild heart of mine. So seeing all that going out um, leaves me a little, uh, I don't know, nervous, scared? fearful, excited, <laughs> I guess all of it, the full spectrum, but it's fun, and I love sharing, so there you go. Have an awesome day, whatever day this is. I started to say Tuesday, and then I said Sunday, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe more like Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Feels like a Wednesday. Okay, hump day. Get it, get humping.